five, 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 five. It's unavailable <laughs> to take your call. <laughs> Welcome to another episode of the Brokepreneur Podcast. I am Dr. Ben Spears, the supreme leader of flow. I am <laughs> master <laughs> of the universe. Exactly. Master of the flow. I am here with the man, the big guy himself, Matt Vi. How you doing, Matt? I'm doing absolutely fantastic, Ben. Another day in another day in paradise. Doors are coming off the Jeep. Are they? Yeah, yeah I, they I are. bet. I knew I knew that it was coming. It's so funny because it's like, you know, in the morning I take my kids to school and it's like 65 degrees or something like that. And I'm like, better grab a hoodie. (laughs) (laughs) You just pissed a lot of people off. (laughs) I know. I better grab a hoodie. (laughs) Here we are inside and I'm still wearing it. So whatever, guys. Um, Matt? Yeah. We have an amazing podcast today, as usual. Um, I, I, I'm really looking forward to talking about this because this is something that we have yeah. a lot of experience in. Yep. Um, you know, especially just when 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 we're reaching out and connecting with brokers, just because yep. we want to, you know, help be part of everybody's win. Yep. So, Matt, tell us what we're talking about. What is on your voicemail? Yes. What's on your voicemail? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna dig into this. Yeah. That sentence. Should probably terrify lots of you. It should, right? Yeah. I look. don't know about our listeners right now, but a lot of people in general, it should scare the hell out of them. Yeah, absolutely. So, guys, for every listen to this, make sure you hit that follow that subscribe button. No better time than the present. Then go to brokerpreneurpodcast dot com. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. Uh, we'll just make sure we keep recruiting on your mind in a very fun and uh, comfortable way yep. in, in between podcasts. So. Is it which impression, Matt? Would you say is the most important? Like the third, fifteenth or twenty sixth? Yeah, right, right. right. ex- <laughs> yeah, I think the I think the old saying goes, "You never get a second chance to make a first impression." Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah I've heard something, that. something something like that. Yeah, pretty sure you so, came up with that. Yeah, so uh, so there is a. Uh, okay. uh, you know, so we, we do a lot of reach outs, right? So if somebody asks for a download, right, because sometimes people get typing real fast or, you know, uh, a, a, a big thing that we find happens is, is, you know, if you mistype your email address one time. Oh, yeah. Then it, it pops up as a suggestion. Yeah, auto populates. That's yeah. right. And, uh, and so, you know, so whenever somebody says, hey, can we get the eight recruiting letters or, hey, can we get the VIP mm-hmm. newsletter, or the BP newsletter or, the, or whatever it is, right? We always try to reach out and go, hey, did you get that? Yeah. Right. So I get a chance to listen to a lot of voicemails. I talk to a lot of answering services. I talk to a lot of all of this. Okay. Yeah. So, uh, so that's what we're going to, that's what we're going to dig into. That's what we're going to dig into today. We're going to pay attention to some of that because, uh, I'm embarrassed for some of the people. I'll, I'll be honest. It, yeah. No, some, let's, some, let's, let's give some examples. Right. So yeah. it's like, you know, you, you, you call and it's like, <clears throat> You know, and, and you know that these are probably the same numbers that, you know, recruits are calling back or something like oh, that, yeah. right? You call and it's very much like the podcast was intro and it's like, five, 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 it's not unavailable, blah, 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 blah. Right. So many times we get uh, voicemails full. I can't tell you how many times we get voicemails full. Yeah, and you just can't even, you can't even leave a message to say, hey, you know, I really appreciate this uh, or that. There's or, one dumbass, excuse me, there's this one person that I, that, <laughs> yeah. okay, that that it says, uh, feel free to leave a message, but if you want to, f- but but uh, the fastest response you'll get is by sending me an email. Yeah, I'm like, are you freaking kidding me that the, yeah. that you actually put that on your voicemail? The fastest response you'll get is by sending an email. Yeah, that is like, that's like the stupidest thing you, in my oh, opinion, that's yeah. the stupidest thing you could say. If it, if you've got that on your voicemail. Absolutely, hundred percent. It's up to you. Keep it, love it, do whatever it is. But from someone calling, if I reach out to call and talk to you, guess yeah. what I want to do? I want to talk to you. I want to talk to you. I want right? to write to you. That's what, right. I don't want to go into ignore. Yeah. Right. The uh, the other one that that we run into a lot is answering services. Mm-hmm. Right. And the, and the answering service, you know, they're really good at getting your name and your phone number. Hey, you know, we just, uh, you know, so-and-so, let me see if I can get so-and-so tell me who's calling again and tell me, you know, what, what you're calling about and tell me this and tell me that. And they get five or six or eight or 10 questions. Right. And the, and you give all this answer and then they say, well, they're busy right now. Yeah. Right. So if I'm someone that, and that's before they check, absolutely. This isn't like they're saying, Hey, let me get this information. Let me put you on hold for a second and let me check. What they're literally doing is they're saying, hey, let me get all your information and something else is going on. 
Yeah. They might be in a listing appointment. They could be in the hospital. They could be just having a cup of coffee and yeah. someone else is paying attention, right? So if you put, in my opinion, mm-hmm. do what the hell you want to do, live your life. Amen. If you put your mobile phone out there, mm-hmm. people are expecting to get connected with you. If that if that's on your business line, yeah. right? Yep. I, okay, I get it, right? Uh, the voicemails fill up, all that, all that kind of stuff, right? Have an answering service if it's your main line and everything. But if you say it's your mobile text number, guess what? You better treat it like it's your mobile and tax number. Mm-hmm. That, that's that's my opinion. Yeah, I can I completely agree. From a recruiting standpoint, it is it is in, you you work so many brokers work very hard to create a culture that attracts the right type of agents, mm-hmm. and literally you're going to put all this effort and these videos and this contact and all of this kind of all these great things in, and then all of a sudden the person's going to reach out and they're going to say today's the day and they're going to reach out and they're going to get a voicemail that says to get the fastest response you have to email me. Yeah. That if if I'm an agent I'm like whoa shit what yeah. My broker that I'm contemplating going to work for just said the fastest response was email. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. It's panic time for me, man. That 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 changes my mind. You yeah, you and me both. And then and then one and, and you just have to you know because because again you you know you're, you you hear these more than I do, but yeah. I know one that 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 we reached out to uh, to check and see if they got something was uh, it was essentially like leave your information if I got time. Yep. If I got time, I'll get back to you. It was no, so bad. It was almost like no promises, no promises that I'll even give back to you. Yep. But if, if I if I get time, then and and this seems valuable enough, then I'll I'll get back right. to you. Yeah, and, and so here's the here's the thing: yeah. the message that you have should be about them, not about you. Yes, right. You've already mm-hmm. when you call and they get your voicemail, you've already proven to them you're important. <laughs> right. So it doesn't more important than their time is right then, right? Yeah. So it so it doesn't make any sense for you to try to drive that home in the message. Yeah. You've reached my voicemail. Right now I'm on an appointment, a meeting with clients and customers. Uh whenever I get this message, uh, and as soon as I have time, I'll give you a I'll give you a call back. Right? Yeah. No shit. Yeah. Right? I mean literally okay. So so you know Something more along the line of, you know, I appreciate your, I appreciate your phone call. I want to try to get back in touch with you as soon as possible. Please leave a complete message as soon as I'm available to check my voicemail, something like that. You've reached mine as you've reached Matt by. Thank you very much for your call is uh, please leave your name and telephone number as soon as possible. I'll get back in touch with you. So that is just me saying, here's exactly where I'm at with it. Keeping it short, keeping it simple, keeping it to the, keeping it to the point. Yeah. Do not put stuff on your voicemail that is trying to prove the point that you're busy or something controversial. Oh yeah. Right. Oh. You get those. Yeah. We've heard those too. Like yeah. super controversial. Like yeah. if you, if you, if you didn't do this or you weren't this, like, right. I'm not going to waste my time. <laughs> right. I mean, there's, there's, there's people that we call <coughs> that is that it says it's their, their mobile number and, yeah. and not the first time we call. Okay. The first time I get it, something happened. You had to forward your voicemail, all that kind of stuff. Right. Yeah. I, I get it. But there's people that say things like you've reached this, you've reached this phone number. If you're calling for a list of rentals, please, please hang up and call back to, to whatever. Yeah. Uh, if you're looking to download or whatever, please go to this. If you're this, if you're that, a whole bunch of stuff that is basically like, this is convenient for me. Yeah, I don't care about what's going on. Bio. <laughs> That's exactly <laughs> yeah. right. And 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 then they're saying at the very end of that, they're saying it's almost like they're going, oh, if you have to, I mean, you got to leave a message, yeah. right? And then maybe at some point, uh, you know, if I yeah. care, I'll get back with you. That's exactly <laughs> yeah. how it seems, yeah. right? If if you're if you're doing 984 other things. And, and that's how you have to do that. And that doesn't need to be your recruiting phone number. Yeah. Get another damn phone number for your recruiting phone number. Go yeah. to Google Voice and use your Google Voice for for the recruiting phone number and leave a, a more valuable message on there. Yeah. Thank you for taking a minute to call me. Your call is very important to me. Uh, you know, at this point, I'm in some other meeting absolutely as soon as I can. Please leave your name and telephone number as soon as I can. I'll get back in touch with you. Yeah. And then just mean that. Yeah. Are you on a regular schedule to go back and check your, your voicemails? Right. Yeah. Time block it if you have to. Yeah. Right. Your phone tells you. My phone tells me all the time. Check your voicemail. Yep. You got a voicemail. Yep. And now, and now, you know, most phones, I guess not all of them, most, most of them 
will transcribe it. So if you're in a meeting, oh, yeah. like, gosh, just look down at it and read it. You know, sometimes right. it's funny how they transcribe it, but, right. um, but there's so many different ways to kind of like, you know, go through that at least to keep enough space on there to some where somebody else calls. Um, and, and we'll have them. So, so guys, let, let me, let me make sure that, uh, let me make sure that, that I say this, I'm going to, I'm going to say two things here. Okay. Mm-hmm. So please tune into this. Number one is just because it's convenient for you doesn't mean it's convenient for the recruit. Yeah, absolutely. Right. Number two, everybody knows you get busy. Okay. Your voicemail is going to fill up. We get a ton of calls back. You know, we're in doing podcasts and stuff. We'll we'll get calls back and, and my voicemail will be full, but I empty it. Yeah. You can't convince me when, when I've called somebody six and seven times just to make sure that something they asked me for, I want to make sure that they got it. Yeah. I've called them six or seven times and every time their voicemail is full, bullshit. Somebody's yeah. not doing what they're supposed to be doing. Yeah, Somebody's that's not a repeat cleaning. offender. That's exactly right. <laughs> that that is absolutely yeah. something that you know, hire hire a virtual assistant that goes in and cleans your voicemail out if that's yeah. if that's what needs to happen. Yeah. Because this is about you putting a lot of effort into something that's going to change your business, that's going to that's going to tell other people how you do business. You better make sure that that, that you're taking advantage of that of that chance on that first impression. Otherwise, you're not given the first impression you want. Yeah. If you're telling them you're going to support them in their business and then they call and the, the three times that they call you to try to get in touch with you, your voicemail is proving that you can't support them in their business. Come on, man. Yeah. Yeah. Clean up your voicemail and then clean up your damn curb appeal. <laughs> right. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, so, you know, you've given, you've given a, uh, you know, an example of your voicemail. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, we've kind of given given some 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 hints. You know, we've definitely thrown thrown some shade on uh, on some, some of the idiots. voicemails that that we've that we've listened to before. And, and those aren't necessarily even the worst of the worst, guys. No, they're not. But, you know, I want to make sure that everybody leaves here with. OK, well, here's some here's some things that I can do. You know, this is something I can do to make my voicemail better. Um, so let's 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 talk about ways ways to improve. Should, you know, one of our listeners be in that boat of my voicemail is always full or, or whatever. Yeah. So how can they make their, their voicemail better? Right. Yeah. That's the, that's yeah, the bottom it's like line. How can it, how can your voicemail, that's a good question. How can your voicemail be a recruiting tool? Hey guys, this podcast is powered by Prospect Boomerang. We all know broker owners struggle with profitability. Prospect Boomerang compounds your profits by recruiting the best agents to your brokerage. For consistent growth, visit prospectboomerang.com. Right. Yep. So, so it has to be about them. Yes. Right. So odds are you've reached out to them. They've come to some kind of conclusion. The timing is right for them. Uh, or you've called and they're returning the call and, and you want to put it out there in a way that, that again, this doesn't have to be put you on the back burner and they're more important than you. Okay. Yes, of course. That's not, that's not what I'm saying, but it's your voicemail. Uh huh. They already know who they're calling. Yeah. Right? So why the hell does it have to be about you? Your voicemail doesn't have to be about you. Yeah. Confirm who it is and confirm what you need from them in order to get back with them. Yeah. That is really the key. Okay? So it's no different than if you're writing a great handwritten note. Right. A great handwritten note is you're going to show some gratitude first, right? Yep. And then you're going to say something something personal about what's going on with them. You're going to talk about what's upcoming, and then you're going to and then you're going to have some gratitude. So you're going to say, "Thank you very much for the call. I really appreciate you taking a minute to reach out to me. If you leave your name and telephone number, I'll get back in touch with you as soon as possible. Again, thanks a lot for calling me. I'll get in, I'll be in touch soon. Yeah. That's the same way you write a, a handwritten note. That's the same way you're going to do that, that because it is sincerely saying, I appreciate you taking time to do this with, with me. Right. Yeah. And, and so that's what, I mean, that, that would be my, that would be my suggestion and, yeah. d- and don't put stupid shit in there. Right. I mean, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. Yeah. When you hear it, I'm out. If you, I'm, I'm, I'm trying I'm, so hard not to, th- there's some examples that I'm, tr- yeah, <laughs> that and I'm and trying I so hard. I appreciate that. Right. We want to, <laughs> might be somebody out there who's got something like I'm out. I'm out on I'm out on the boat getting hammered. Yeah, <laughs> right? right. We've had stuff like that too. Yep. So, yep. Uh, you know the way the way that I would look at it, you know, and and, and everyone knows like our personalities, you right. know, are, are are you know, I won't say night and day, but you know, they're they're pretty different as far as like how we would approach you know certain things. Right. 
if I was a broker and I was out there and, and you know, you, you were, you know, kind of, I don't know, insane like me, I would just say something along the lines of, you know, hey, this is this is Dr. Ben Spears, on you know, the, the broker at, you know, blah, 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 right? You're verifying that, you know, they 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 did get who they're trying to, to, to call. Right. And and I would just flat out say, gosh, if, if if you're one of my if you're one of my 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 current agents, gosh, please, um, you know, I, reach out I, to Matt. Know, reach out to Matt, <laughs> right? Yeah, if you're one of my current agents, this, you know, if you're looking to join the office, we're I'm so grateful. I'm so grateful that you yep. gave me a call. And and then, and then you know, I may be you do something funny like if you're one of my friends and family, you know, I ain't got time for that. No, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but. You know, almost almost letting them know, you know, uh, every, everyone who's calling, you know, if you have a, a, a line that's dedicated to recruiting, just like you said earlier, mm-hmm. how powerful would that be for them to, you know, not just say, hey, this is Ben, you know, leave your name number, give me, I'll give you a call back. How powerful would that be like, hey, this is, this is Ben at, you know, you know, Matt's real estate. So we're so grateful that, that you called. We're, we're looking forward to, to sitting down and talking with you. Please leave your name and number. And and it will be the first. It'll be the first thing that I do as soon as I get get to it to reach to reach out to you. Yep. Right. I'm I'm hearing like whoa, like man, they're they're yep. putting. I've been put on the list. Right. Right. I'm I'm next in line. I'm in I'm the a queue priority. or something like that. Exactly. Yeah. Right. So, you know, just different different things that, that that you can do there, and uh, and and this goes into play. We won't dive dive into this, but you can do very similar things. You know, with your email signature. Yep. Uh, <clears throat> Gosh, you know, if you use an answering service and you're just that busy, like, you know, more power to you. And I got no problem. I love, you know, good answering services. But give them a good, give them a, a better script than he's busy right now or she's right. busy right now. And, 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 they, and they can go, you know, down that, down that same path. But in your mind, do exactly what Matt said, which is, gosh, put, put, put them, in, put them in, in the script or in the message as a priority don't make it about you. They know who you are, and uh, and <clears throat> just think to my, just think to yourself. If you were calling, what would you want to hear that would give you those warm and fuzzy feelings of, yeah, I've made the right, I've made the right decision to, to give this guy or gal a call. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I, yeah, and let's dig into the action item. Let's let's wrap up and dig into that because it's a uh, it's a really good one that's going to be super helpful. Yep, absolutely. Let's do that. So, guys, before we do that. Um, wherever you're listening to this, whether it be iTunes, Spotify, Stitcher, Deezer, any of those platforms, make sure you hit that follow button. If you're watching us on YouTube, hit that red subscribe button, hit that bell right beside you get notified every time we drop a new episode, go to prospectboomerang.com. We talked about it on the last, um, um, on the last podcast, schedule a discovery call with us. Let's, let's talk some, let's talk some recruiting. It's absolutely free. Um, you know, you get to, to hear Matt and maybe I, you know, chime in with a joke every now and then. Um, <laughs> but, but you end up, man, with least your eyes absolutely wide open with the things that you can do you know, you know, with your recruiting moving forward. Go to prospectbermain.com. Uh, click on contact us at the top of the page and, and the calendar's right there. Just pick a time. It's free. So Matt, hit us yep. up with an action item. So, so I think probably the, uh, probably the first thing I'll say about this is you, you just have to remember that what is convenient for you in your voicemail doesn't make it the best thing for the recruit. Yeah. Doesn't make it the best thing for your agent. Right. So let's start with, let's start with that. And if you, and if you really want to understand how off putting it can be, call some of the agents in your office. Mm. Call their cell phone, call 15 of them, call 20 of them. See how many of them don't have a message at all. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. That is a representation of your company. Yep. Right. So you call their, uh, you call their, uh, their, their phone, their cell phone, because you're wanting to do business with them and you get a voicemail that you don't even know if it's the right person. Yep. Okay. So, so that's number one, call, call 15 of them, then help coach them through how to deal with their voicemail. So I would, I would call 15 of them in, in my office, and then over the, over the, in my next sales meeting, I would say, hey, I'm not going to point any fingers here, but I called 15 of, of you guys, and seven of your voicemails suck, right? Here's, yeah. here's, what I, here's what I'd like for you to do. I'd like for you to make sure that you're getting all the opportunities with your customers and clients that, that you can. Because think, think about it like this. Let's say somebody sees a yard sign, and they pick up the phone, and they call the phone number, and it says... You've reached Matt with Matt Real Estate. Uh, you know, I'm. Uh, you know, I really want to help you out, and I really want to this, and I really want to that. Uh, you know, at the at the beat, please leave your name and phone number, and I'll get back in touch with you as soon as possible. This voicemail is full. Yeah. Right. 
all that's it's going to do on. Right. Yeah. That's going to, that's going to destroy. So, so have a conversation, look at the people in your office. It's going to give you an idea of how off putting it can be. Make sure your voicemail doesn't mirror theirs. Yep. Right. And, and make sure that your voicemail is about the person calling, not about you. And then in your next sales meeting, just go, Hey guys, you know, I made some phone calls and, and I hope that everyone that you call in your office has a kick ass voicemail and you can leave a message. And what I would do is I would call. And if I called and they had a great voicemail message, I would just say, and I say this whenever I hear it, when I'm calling and reaching out to people, if they have a great voicemail, I'll say, Hey, I love your voicemail. That's yeah. absolutely an incredible voicemail. Say that before. Right. And, and so, and that's what you need to do with your agents in your office. If you're a broker and you call down the list and some of them are just kick ass, you need to say it. You need to say yeah. congratulations. And, and the ones that aren't though, you need to go ahead and get them, tell them to go ahead and set their business up to that next level. And if yours is that way, certainly from a recruiting standpoint, you need to step yours up to the, the next level as well. Yeah, absolutely. And I'm going to add one little thing to that. Um, you know, your significant other, your parent, like whoever, whoever you know, one, one, once a month, just call and say, would you mind calling back and listen to my voicemail? See what yeah. you hear. Right. Yep. And just, and just, and just, you know, cause it's one of those things. A lot of times you can't always tell. Yep. Right. Or settings get changed. You get a new phone or there's an update yep. or something like that. Yep. Just once a month, just reach out and say, Hey, you know, would you mind calling my voicemail? I just want to make sure everything sounds good. That kind of thing. Yeah, absolutely. And yep. if it's your, if it's your mobile, treat it like it's exactly that your mobile is your personal connection with people. Yeah. It's not your business connection with people necessarily. Right. Yeah. So make sure you make sure you treat it that way. Even if you are like, okay, my team and I last thing, and then I'll shut yeah, up about this. My team and I share a phone number. Right. And, and sometimes that phone number goes to this person and that person and, and the other one because of leads and all that kind of stuff and everything. That is not what the public thinks. Oh yeah. You better deal with that the right way. The public doesn't give a shit that it's going to 15 other people on the weekend and you've got a call schedule and a rotation and all that. You know what yeah. they want? They want to talk to the right person. So, so an example would be, I have a phone number that I'm saying is my mobile or text number. And on Fridays, I have a rotation. Friday, Friday through Sunday, I have a rotation of four of my team members or four of the eight people in the, in, in the office. And they, get the, uh, and they get the chance to get leads over the, over the weekend. I love that. That's fantastic. That's awesome. But is everybody's voicemail set up that's on your team? Yeah. And, and did it fill up on two on, on Saturday? And it's been filled up since, you know, whenever. And so Friday evening, a call comes in and that's what happens. And from Friday evening till Sunday, that agent says, oh yeah, I didn't get any leads this weekend. No, you didn't get any freaking leads this weekend. Your voicemail was full. Yeah. Or they didn't know they were calling a real estate company because it says you've reached 555-7272. Please leave your name and phone number yeah. and, we'll, and the, the provider will get the yeah. provider's service you've member. Will... important real estate. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, and it just, yeah. you, you want to not you've worked too hard to throw away that opportunity and yeah. not make that first great impression yeah absolutely voicemails cost a lot of people a lot of money absolutely so matt <clears throat> yep i'll tell you what doesn't cost people a lot of money what's that listening to this podcast that's right it's absolutely yeah. positively value packed for free that is exactly right that's a new commercial <laughs> <laughs> but matt and we had no problem with that nope we, we love it. Yeah, we actually we actually prefer it that way. So, guys, yep. the reason that is, and the reason we do all the things that we do, is because we just want to be part of your win. <laughs>